I think that we need a workable professional regulation or policy going for it. And this policy, I think, and I am emphasizing on the point, the word workable, not just theoretical, not just words, not English, as we've done in the past, but workable. I think that workable policy or document should uh, speak to media ownership. We should desist from um, selling frequencies, the National Communication Authority, selling frequencies to party officials, members of parliament, party agents who have transmogrified themselves into media owners. This is one of the key issues that is contributing to the self-censorship. No, no, okay, there, there's, supposed to be a broadcasting, there's supposed to be a broadcasting bill. If it were passed into law, then mm -hmm. politically exposed persons will not be able to require a license. Once that is not okay. done, and I doubt it will ever be done. Uh, you cannot uh, preclude uh, people in politics from, you know, participating in the space. And that is the danger that we will continue to face if we cannot preclude. Like you said, we doubt if the broadcasting bill will be will be passed. And if ever it is passed, what happens to those who have already acquired these frequencies and are abusing these frequencies and abusing the workers there? This is a conversation we've had in the past. It is still going on. They are still acquiring the frequencies and polluting the environment. And so when we capture the media environment, we capture all these actors. Mm. And yet we know the genesis of these people, that this people are not media people. They are not trained media people. They are not people who have worked in the media. They are just political apparatchikis who just want the media platform to pursue the agenda, including one of the things we have emphasized the point here today. It's about controlling the narrative and controlling the minds of ordinary people. 